Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Michael Burgess. I'm a 23 year old contractor and entrepreneur and I wanted to put up a video online. This will be my first YouTube video ever. Uh, just showing one of the projects that I did with a friend in London. So we installed an interlocking stone driveway for her. She did an awesome job of renovating this property that she has. We wanted to, uh, to clean up the backyard and make it nicer. So I hope you enjoy this. Today, I'm in London in the Old East Village helping my friend Kelly redo her crappy backyard. So we're going to install an interlocking stone driveway in this space here. Uh, she's recently put up uh, a new deck and railings. She's renovated this entire house uh, and did an absolutely gorgeous job inside. And now it's time to tackle the backyard. So step number one is rip up this backyard and uh, get a blank canvas. Hi, we're gonna do a patio today in the next three days. Woo! Woo! When you're doing interlocking stone, it's really important to get the base set up properly. Um, for a patio or a walkway where it's only foot traffic, you need to excavate about six inches down beneath the interlocking stone. In this case, because it's a driveway and you're gonna have vehicles on top, you actually have to excavate like eight inches beneath the bottom of the interlocking stone. Okay, Kelly's just gone inside to get us some water. As you can see, I'm a little warm, so tarps off. And uh, we've got the beginnings of our holdup. Um, so again, we're going about eight inches deep on this driveway. We'll bust up the concrete and we've got a place that can take that away for free. And then you've got options as far as disposing of this clean fill. In our case, we've ordered in a waste bin. Um, so we're just going to fill the bin up with soil and get this cleaned up. Things are going by pretty well. It's, uh, it's a lot of you know, fun manual labor, but... What you doing? Hey, it's brick time. <laughs> <laughs> Why so excited? Because I love these little things. No, I don't. I hate bricks. Bricks are the worst. What did you get me into? <laughs> Over the course of the afternoon, we continued digging away all the soil and weeds. We broke up the concrete walkways in the backyard, and we excavated for an eight-inch base of limestone screenings. As we finished up our long work day, our friends Kellen and Dan came over to check out the progress. What do you think? This is, uh, is going to be a, quite a crazy transformation. It was terrible before, and now it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> right on. Well, better be. So, what's the landscaping like on your properties, guys? They're terrible, and I'm hoping to get some help from Michael here. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. This because is... people focus on the, ex the interior of their houses, and they want to get the rents up on rental properties and stuff like that, but they don't, they don't think about the exterior. And that's a really great way to improve the property value, so I'm hoping to do a little bit more of that. Hello guys, Tuesday morning, we're back on site here. Um, everything's cleared out, we've got concrete here, a bin coming later, the bin pickup company coming later today. Um, so hopefully by the end of day number two today, uh, we should have the base prepped and ready to lay the interlock. Pro tip, when you think you've got a certain amount of soil or concrete, actually just trust that it's going to be a lot more. Because we didn't think we had that much concrete, but it was a lot of concrete. Yeah. Shout out to Kellen for hooking us up with this cool tripod thing. We're gonna do some time lapse videos Yay! today. I might lay back for a while. Tell me what, what, what would I do if I could feel? Save us. Save us. Save us for the morning. <laughs> Going to pick up the plate tamper after our third load of concrete. We met a super friendly dude who's gonna rent us a plate tamper to compact all of our screens. She's he's just giving Kelly the lesson right now. Alright. Alright, she's gonna load up now. I gave her the instructions. You want me to give you the instructions? No, I don't need instructions. One, two, three. See you Sunday. Now you're just gonna push it forward. Perfect. Okay, suntan lotion on. We've got all of the excess dirt here, final posts taken out. Kelly raked out all of the existing subsoil or the sub base. Um, so now we're gonna fire up the plate tamper and start packing this base material before we get our aggregate delivered. Every last bit out. Uh, 
so as you saw, obviously we've got the screens delivered. Um, and they had to be dumped in the driveway, which isn't ideal, but just because the power lines would have stopped the dump truck. So we're getting the screenings here, uh, settled onto the now tamped sub base. Um, and we're gonna put down like an inch of limestone screenings, maybe an inch and a half at a time, uh, moisten it a little bit, and then compact that and build our screenings up in layers. Um, before I run the tamper for the last time tonight. So again, we're still in the second day. We're finishing up the base prep, so tomorrow we can just throw all this interlock down and finish things up. Uh, and we're busting out the floodlights now because we've got a deadline. We absolutely have to be done for tomorrow night because Kelly's actually flying out on Thursday and I've got other things I'm committed to. So we're basically 10 x in our game here. We're working our butts off. And uh, honestly, it's, it's funny that like the more I work and the later into the night I go, I'm just like, I'm fired up. I could keep going for hours. What's up guys? Hey! Still cracking away. The rain has finally disappeared. It's like 3 p.m. Final day. We're running out of time, but things are coming along. <laughs> One really fun thing we did on this project was creative design. So Kelly actually lives on King Street, and she decided to use a crown to put in her driveway. So we made a template like you can see in the video, cut that out, and then used a different type of stone to put that into our driveway. Check it out. It'll be tiled, and I'm very excited. It's gonna be sick. It's crown time! it can be difficult to film and do the work at the same time so I'm kind of missing a bit of footage here but as the night finished we took care of more details we invited some friends over for drinks and then celebrated finishing up this project for Kelly like the video, if you've got any questions, um, anything I can help you with in your backyard uh, or front yard, um, be happy to help. So feel free to, to shoot off any questions you've got, maybe talk about how you would do things differently. Love to hear from you guys. So feel free to comment in this section below and let me know what you think of the video. 